okay YouTube, paint your crypto again. I thought you guys are my Logitech G29. This race wheel is amazing guys. This is an amazing budget race wheel. Uh, great price. You can get this on eBay for maybe like 170. Um, you can get it new for like 200. Great price. Um, I, will, I also have the, uh, the pedals as well, which is not too expensive. You can get it for like 100 bucks, something like that. And then I also have the gear shifter, which is about 60, 70 bucks. Um, so all in all, you're looking at around um, three to four hundred dollars for this whole setup. Great budget setup for if you want to get into driving, um, driving simulators like Forza, obviously. Um, also, you know, city driver, whatever driving simulator, or if you want to, you know, get really fancy with it, you know, you can add some indicators. I want to do a review on these indicators as well, but I got these indicators recently, and. It, you know, this is great for like your bus simulators, your truck simulator, Euro truck, American truck, um, bus simulator 21. You know, so obviously you can use this for anything pretty much. And the force feedback is phenomenal. That is, I think, the, the greatest feature of this whole system. Um, as you can see, you know, this is these are the pedals right here. Um, so they have a great feel to them. Um, this is your clutch, great, great resistance, you know, good enough resistance, um, just, you know, great feel, um, and then you got your gear shifter here, you know, your six gear shifter, um, yeah, so pretty much that is, that is, yeah, that's pretty much that, so I want to kind of drive with this so you guys can see the force feedback, how it feels, um, and just the sound of it. I'm also going to show it to show you another view, but let's let's get to it. Let's see if we can. Um, so let me just go in reverse. Um, make sure this is Yeah, so pretty much 
you know, as you can see, th this is how the system works, you know, just phenomenal, you know, you got your, your gear shifter, uh, your clutch over here, you know, so when you're shifting gears, you want to make sure that your foot is on the clutch, lift your foot off the gas, make sure you're on the clutch, all right. You can, you can shift without doing that, but it's it's better, you know, it's smoother when you shift with the clutch than when you don't. And so, this is a smoother um, shifting experience. Every, I have manual plus clutch enabled, but yeah, I mean, it, it just gives you more control of the car and stuff like that. Um, yeah, man, uh, this is pretty amazing. Uh, I, you know, I have everything set up like that. Okay, guys, so I just want to show you guys how the force feedback really works. I was driving so you guys may not really pick up the, the real force on how it affects the wheels. So I'm gonna start driving right now. I'm gonna start driving right now. And let me... Let me see if I can... I'm driving an SUV, by the way. Let me, uh, let me go on the terrain so you guys can see. Look what happens when you go on the terrain. Do you see, do you see what happens to the controller? It's, it gets hard to control it. moving around and stuff like that. So that's the power of the force feedback. It gives you that realistic feel while you're driving. So I hope that makes sense. And I hope that makes sense so you guys could really understand the effectiveness of the force feedback. So all in all, I'd say G29 works great. Phenomenal controls. Obviously you got your pedals, your Obviously three pedals right here, your clutch, your brake, and your gas. Great resistance, um, feels great, just like a regular car. And then you have obviously your gear shifter here, which feels great as well. Um, the force feedback on this is amazing. It's the main reason why I recommend this because it gives you the feel of you driving a real car, especially when you go to, um, you are on rough terrain it really simulates it well it feels great it doesn't feel like too much but it, it feels just right it feels like the right amount of force feedback that you would realistically get if you was supposed to drive over a whole bunch of terrain um, obviously as you saw when I was driving when I went, went over terrain my hands were shaking I could barely control the car you know everything was going crazy so that's pretty much what the force feedback does it pretty much allows the wheel to go nuts when you are driving. It makes it more realistic and more fun. But tell me what you guys think. Have a great day. AC Crypto signing out. Remember to subscribe to my channel. Also turn on notifications. Check out my social media. Have a great day. AC Crypto signing out. Peace.